If you like to watch breakdown videos and special highlights of the latest theatrical movies and web series, you're more than welcome to subscribe to this channel. This dude is shaving Arthur with a cigarette in his mouth but this thing doesn't make any sense to me. It's a standard prison law that no officer or guard will be allowed to smoke or drink inside a prison facility but these dudes are doing everything so openly without giving a fuck. This officer accidentally cut the cheek of Arthur while shaving and he pretty much had a visible wound on his face but on the next day in the singing class, there's literally no sign of wound on his cheek. Everything looks clear. Where did the wound go? This dude has no problem lighting up a cigarette for Arthur but his ego got hurt as soon as Arthur said thanks to him patting on the back. Thanks pal. I guess some of the wires of his brain has gotten loose living with the psycho criminals for so long. When the two got into a squabble, this dude over there had zero reaction throughout the entire scene. I wonder what the hell he was thinking about. He was probably wondering why do we piss while pooping but we do not poop while pissing. What well, my heart used to dream of, not like it's hurt me before. Every time something serious happens in the movie, this dude along with his girlfriend starts singing to explain their emotions. Almost 50% of the major movements in this movie includes musicals. And that makes me wonder, is that really a movie or just a musical show? Just imagine this guy going to the immigration officer and explaining to the man why he wants to stay in a foreign country but using musicals only. Even by the end of the movie, he started singing again after getting stabbed into his belly for five times in a row. This woman basically set the entire hospital on fire just to kiss and dance with Arthur. It would make more sense if she had to create distraction to flee from this jail when everyone else was busy with fire. But nope, she had to burn the entire place for basically no valid reason and also got Arthur kicked into solitary confinement. These people are making out inside a highly secured prison and nobody knows anything about it. Where did all the girls go when they were doing that thing? Arthur was basically a high value prisoner and he was supposed to be under supervision 24 by 7 even when he was going to the bathroom. Just two minutes after making out, Arthur goes to meet his lawyer and during the conversation, he kisses his lawyer out of nowhere. What the hell was going on inside his head? It seems like he didn't get enough smoochy smoochy from Harley Quinn. He was probably getting thirsty for some more action. This woman just broke the glass of a shop and stole a television from there pretending that nobody is going to watch her. Does she know that there's something called CCTV cameras installed all across the city? She was supposed to be caught in no time. Whenever I saw Arthur and Harley Quinn in a serious situation, they had two things in common. First, they would start singing to express themselves. And second, they would keep smoking throughout the entire event. And that made me wonder, is that really a movie or the promotion of tobacco products in the style of musicals? Even this lady in the crowd is taking a puff in the middle of a court session which is basically a punishable crime. And then what? And then we're gonna build a mountain from a little hill. What does that even mean? Harley Quinn said that she is going to free Arthur from the prison and then she will make a mountain out of a little hell. Now the question is, what did she mean by that? This statement was never explained even until the end of the movie. She's gonna make a mountain of what? Musicals? Dad is winging along Just talk to me. Hard. Dad's a doctor. You're rich? Previously, Harley Quinn said to Arthur that she had an abusive father who died in a car crash and she is extremely poor. But now it turns out that none of the story was real. And then she is also a psychiatrist. Now the question is, was that even necessary to begin a relationship based on a lie with a mentally troubled person? <laughs> There she is, taking a puff inside a highly secure prison facility which is a punishable felony again. I still can't sleep and I'm scared all the time. During the court trial, Gary gave a testimony against Arthur and even after that, when Arthur started to hallucinate again, there was Gary standing in the back inside his imagination. Now the question is, why did Arthur choose to keep Gary inside his hallucination when Gary broke his heart and disappointed him in the court trial? Did he still have respect and love for Gary even after all of this? Like no day has been. In chapter 1, dude couldn't even manage to write down a single laughable joke but right now he has become a singer and runs into musicals every time the situation gets hot. After some of the fans of Arthur blew up the entire court to rescue him, he decides to run out of the car and then he finds Harley Quinn waiting for him on the stairs right near his house. Now the question is, how did Harley Quinn know from the very beginning that Arthur will be able to come to this place when she was not even involved in the plans of the recent blast? How? 
I'm pregnant. In the end of the movie, Arthur was dead but Harley Quinn was alive. And if you have seen the movie, I guess you know the fact that Harley Quinn was pregnant by Arthur. Now the question is, what's gonna happen with the baby? Does the baby have abortion in its fate or she is going to raise him into a mini joker to take revenge on the crooked society? What's going to be the fate of that baby? And the million dollar question is, was that even necessary to make a sequel of this movie when chapter 1 had the most perfect ending? They just turned this movie into a musical bullshit. I got the world on a string Sitting on a rainbow It is true that this officer is a dick but he has got a good voice with a lovely tone. I'm not gonna lie about that. By the way, last but not least, Arthur was shown to be pretty dead by the end of the movie but is he really dead? Because the movie basically ended right after he got stabbed into his belly. If you like to watch breakdown videos and special highlights of the latest theatrical movies and web series, you're more than welcome to subscribe to this channel.